Thank you for tuning in guys. I've got a DIY for you today. We're making canvas art out of shower curtains. So you want to make sure that you order a shower curtain that is not the plastic curtain. You want to make sure it's a thick, durable uh, material, a fabric. Um, the one I ordered came in um, various sizes. I got the smallest one. So you'll need some scissors. You need a manual or electric stapler. These are the staples that I bought with it. It's the T50. And make sure if you haven't used this before that you read the instructions. Very important. It'll show you how to load it. And these are the staples I purchased to go with it. It was pretty easy to use. Now I picked these up at Michael's. They were a two piece value pack. The 20 inch by 24 inch um, are the perfect size. If you want to create two, um, these are the uh, craft clamps that I use and there were just enough space. So come along, let's start and see if we can create some cool art here. Let's go ahead and open everything up. Of course, this was two canvases, so they come separately wrapped. If you don't want to use the other one, it's still nice and in the package for you. So you'll want to make sure that you iron your curtain first. Please, please, please iron it or it will be crink crinkly and wrinkly and it just won't look good. So right now I'm placing it down trying to see how I want the marble design to lay. And I think I have what I want here. So I'm just lining it up. Yep, that's good. So I'm going to take this and fold it in half just to make sure I have enough fabric for both pieces. And of course I do. So I'm gonna just cut this in half. You'll take your scissors and make a small slit and then just go ahead and try to cut as even as you can. You can also fold this in half and then go and iron it so that you have that deep crease in there to make sure that you're cutting in a straight line. Um, I didn't need to do that I just folded it I knew I would be cutting off the edges anyway when you cut you'll probably want to cut the other way not towards your hand like I did here please don't hurt yourself <laughs> and now we only are working with half of the curtain so I'm just placing it again how I wanted the marble to show you want some of those nice swirls to pop out. So I put the clips on each side and just clamp down the curtain to the canvas. This will just hold it in place while I'm using the manual stapler to staple the back side. Yep, so it should look something like this after it's clipped. Then you'll go ahead and flip it over. Make sure everything is lined up how I want it and smooth everything down. And then you're gonna start to staple right there in the middle as I just showed you. So I just flipped mine backwards just because it was a li little easier to handle. And there's the first staple. I just stapled right underneath where I had the clamp. And then I'm just going to adjust the clamp, slide it down a bit, just to keep the other side in place while I staple here in this middle section. And then you'll just staple from the middle toward the outside of the canvas. Now there are staples underneath um, that are already attached to the canvas. Try not to staple directly on top of those. I stapled more towards the middle. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. As you get down to where the clamp is, you can just move it down. All 
I suggest keeping that one there on the corner just so that everything stays in place while you're stapling. Now you don't want to staple the very edge. Leave about two inches there, two to three. And it should look something like this once you're done. All right, so we're going to take the edge flaps here. And my baby decided she wanted to come into the frame and see what I was doing. So excuse her, this is Maria. <laughs> we'll keep the edges clamped and flip it over on the other side. And we'll do the same thing here. So staple the middle first and then move your, your staples outward towards the edges of the picture. I'm sorry, of the canvas. Both sides are stapled and you can see we still have a little bit of puckering in the middle just because there's space where the other sides haven't been stapled down yet. So I'm just showing you here that you're going to leave a little space towards the edge and then you're going to take that extra flap, take the excess and pull back so that's taut on the side and then you'll staple that corner. And if the staple doesn't go all the way in, you can use a hammer or something like that. I didn't have one on hand, so I just use the side of the stapler. Use what you got. <laughs> so after you've stapled that, you're going to pull the other side over, pull that taut, and then you're going to apply some more staples to that corner until you have a nice tucked corner. I just kept giving it a little tug just to make sure everything was still tight. And once you're done, you have something that looks kind of like this. Take your scissors and cut off that excess fabric. So here I'm just showing you that I'm doing the same thing to the other side.
And again, we'll do the same thing to the other corner and then cut off the excess fabric. So you'll just cut toward the corners. Make sure that you don't poke through your canvas when you're doing this. Be very careful to slide the scissor underneath the fabric first. And then cut up towards the corner and then simply just slide the scissor along the edge to cut the rest of the fabric off. Now we've completely cut off all of the excess fabric. It should look something like this. Mine is not as clean on the sides um, as yours can be. I mean, if you really, really want to um, go in and just cut very closely to the staples, you can. I didn't feel the need to, it'll be covered. I'm gonna take some Mod Podge here and some glitter. And I'm just gonna highlight some of these little golden areas that I see. I did like the canvas after I was done, but I just felt like hmm, I wanted to be extra. <laughs> so we're highlighting just little lines here within the marbling. And then we're just gonna make them pop with some glitter. So put your Mod Podge down, shake some of that glitter on. Some people like to also mix the glitter into the Mod Podge. Some people mix it and then um, also just go over it with glitter. If that's your thing and you like it that way, you can do it that way. I simply put the Mod Podge down first and then shook the glitter over the top. So I'll do a few more of these. And just make sure when you're on the edge that you kind of just swipe your brush or your sponge, whichever you're using. Make sure that you kind of swipe it so that the ends are tapered and that they go from thicker to thin at the end. You don't want that line to be just thick all the way through. So kind of drag that brush or drag the sponge at the end and kind of just swipe it to get that effect. I think I wanna go ahead and make another one up here. So again, putting down some Mod Pod. And I think I'll do a small one up here. A little, a lot, however much you want. I don't wanna go overboard, so I just did a few lines here, but you know, if you wanna highlight every line, you can do that. This is your canvas, your world. Do it how you want to make it to your liking how you want it. So once your glitter is done, go ahead and shake it, fill in any of those gaps. Then once you dust that glitter off, your final result should look something like this. I really like how it came out. Um, if you guys enjoyed me making this, if you're gonna make them yourselves, please email me, send me a picture of how they turned out. And yeah, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments below. Here they are hung up on the wall.